Forget about illegal aliens. Gay soldiers, forget about them. They're, not, they're, they're, they're there to be booed. If you're homeless, foreclose on them. If you have a home, foreclose on the people. If you're a teacher, <laughs> farmer, or, or, or cop, get rid of the guy. I mean, this, this attitude of causing cruel pain on people and getting cheers for it. What's that about, Howard? You think that's a fair analysis of Republicans? I think it's a fair analysis of the performance of the audiences and the candidates in the primary season this year, which is dominated by the question. You mean because a couple, couple, couple people laugh? Do you want to answer the question or what? Do you want to answer it? Oh, oh, oh Chris, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for cutting you off the way you cut your guests off, but I want to get, I want to, get to the point here. Uh, because because a couple of people have make a point, or do you want to ask me? Questions? Because a couple of people have laughed. You think that reflects on the whole party? <laughs> I think that nobody stood up and said that was not the position of our party. Those people should be reprimanded, and they certainly had a hard time doing it, didn't they? Name, why name. didn't they stand? Why didn't Mitt Romney, who's a moderate in many ways, why didn't he say, "Don't boost soldiers in uniform fighting for our country"? Why didn't he do that? Just answer so, that so, question. So, I, I'm happy to answer the question. They all said that either they didn't hear it or when they were asked about it, they said it was inappropriate. All of them said that, Chris. Every single well, one of them did. That, wouldn't they? they would say that because that's the political... You, you asked me whether really or not they responded, they I, and I told you they all said it was the wrong thing to have said. What do you want to do, argue? We disagree. We sure do disagree. Now, let's talk about <laughs> your, your book. Um, I, I read the entire book, Chris. And what gets me about your book is that you seem to be painting uh, Kennedy as a elusive hero, as you put it, because of what he did with respect to the Cuban Missile Crisis. That seems to be the singular achievement around which the whole book is written. Am I fair about that? Well, I would start with his heroism in World War II, and I'd work up to that. Okay, let's talk about the PT-109. You don't uh, at all discuss how the boat got into trouble in the first place. A lot of historians feel that it was his own irresponsible handling of the PT-109 that caused the boat to get into trouble, that caused him to engage in the heroics that he, well, that that he clearly be, did. That would, be, that would be a conservative or right-wing point of view. Oh, really? A person that was prejudiced against Kennedy. If it's, there's, no, there's no moon, there's no stars, there's no radar. Those are the conditions. Okay, let me... His let me boat is operating at... Can I answer? Well, you call me right wing. No, you call, you call me right wing, so I want to deal with what you just now said. <laughs> this is from HistoryNet.com. No, you are quoting historians who are right wing would say something like that. You think Gary, think Gary Wills is right wing? Yes, he is on this point. He's wrong. No, you said right wing. Is he right wing? Is this a game? Is this a game show? Or are we trying to find out? I'm talking about your book where you, com <laughs> completely, you completely ignore you completely what ignore what Gary Willis said. <laughs> Gary Willis said he had been inattentive as a commander, and he worried himself that after the events were done, he might get court-martialed for his irresponsibility. None of that is in your book. I'll give you another Why one. This is from history.net.com. From history the, co the collision was part of a wild night of blunders by 109 and other boats that one historian later described as the most screwed up PT boat action of World War II. All of which was ignored in your Larry, book. Larry, why don't you write a book about Jack Kennedy and attack him? I'm, I think he's a hero. I am, I am simply talking about the fact that you completely ignore why Kennedy had to result in the heroics that he had to result in. And many historians believe that it was his own irresponsibility that put well, him in the position in the first my, place. That is not my story. I know it's not. I don't believe that's true. So uh, Gary Willis is wrong, and History.net is wrong, and and the Boston Globe was wrong, also wrong when they wrote a column about the uh, the movie that was made about uh, Jack Kennedy. They can they can write what they want. Okay. I have the facts. All right, let's talk about uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis. You completely ignore the fact that Kennedy, without precondition, sat down with Khrushchev, and Dean Rusk, his own Secretary of State, told him not to do it. Khrushchev. That was in April. That was in April, of 1961. Go ahead. That's right. Told him not to do it. Khrushchev did. Even Kennedy. Uh, what is the purpose of this conversation? The purpose of the conversation. The, right the purpose right now is to show that you are glossing over Kennedy. You are airbrushing the bad things to make a book where you completely put him on your shoulders without talking about why he got into trouble with the PT 109, why he got into trouble with killing Mr. Crisis. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't mention at all that he had this what disaster. What is this conversation about? Am I, do I have any role in this show or do I just sit here and listen to your rap? Uh, I will repeat what I just now said. It's not, if, if you want to hang up, it's go ahead and hang up, Chris. It's my job to listen to you or to talk. It's, it's, you wrote a book. I'm talking about your book. And you no, completely, it's my job here to listen you to you. Completely, it, you may, may I say something, Chris? It's my job to listen to this rap. Yes, your job is to listen until I finish my question and you can respond. It's a question? It is a question. In your, in your book, Chris, you completely ignore the fact that JFK's own blunders encourage Khrushchev to put, missiles, to put missiles in October. That's what you say, Larry. That's your statement. New York Times, Kennedy Talk, Khrushchev Triumph, Nathan Thrall, Jesse James Wilkins. Do you know who they are? No. 
a move that we're regarded as one of the most self-destructive American actions of the Cold War, referring to this uh, summit that he had with Khrushchev, one that contributed to the most dangerous crisis of the nuclear age. Senior statesmen like George Kennan advised Kennedy not to rush into a high-level meeting against Khrushchev. Kennedy's own Secretary of State had argued much the same. Do with the Cuban Missile Crisis. You ignore the fact that we wouldn't have had the crisis but for That's his reckless... Say. That's what you say. A lot of historians say that, Chris. You completely ignore that in I, your book. I, I am fully, fully aware of the critique. You didn't put I'm it in your book my... whatsoever. You didn't put it in your book whatsoever. Okay, Larry. But Kennedy went ahead, quote, and for two, Larry, for two Larry, days he was...